In this video, we'll learn an easy way to create an adjustable chain of interlocking hearts in Inkscape. First, I'll go to the Squares and Rectangles tool and create a long vertical rectangle. I'll grab this circular handle at the top right and drag it down as far as it will go to round the corners. I also want to turn off the fill color of this by clicking the red X down here. And I'll give it a red stroke by holding Shift and clicking the red color swatch. I'll also right click the stroke width value here and make it something bigger like 10. Next, I'll go to the Select tool and click the object to get the rotation handles. Then I'll grab the top right rotation handle, hold Ctrl to snap the angle, and rotate it clockwise three times so that the status bar says it has been rotated 45 degrees. Next, I'll duplicate this with Ctrl D, press H to flip the duplicate horizontally, then move it to the right a bit while holding Ctrl to constrain the movement. Now I'm going to select both of these, then go up to the Path menu and choose Union to turn them into a single path. Next, I'll go to the Node tool and select these three nodes here, and also select this one by holding Shift and clicking it. I want to get rid of these nodes, but if I press Delete right now, it would try to maintain the curvature of the path here. That's not what I want, so I'll press Ctrl Z to undo, select the nodes again, then hold Ctrl before pressing Delete. That's better. I'll do the same for the four nodes on this side. Next, I'll go back to the Select tool, duplicate this path, bring the duplicate to the right, and scale it down some while holding Ctrl to constrain the width to height ratio. This also scaled down the stroke width, so I'll right click the stroke width value and set it back to 10. Now I'm going to select both of these and combine them together by going to Path, Combine. This is necessary for the next step, which will be to use the Knot Path effect to give these hearts an intertwined appearance. To add the Knot Path effect to this, I'll first go to Path, Path Effects to open the Path Effects dialog, then I'll click the plus button at the bottom of the dialog and choose Knot here. Now the hearts look intertwined. And if we open the Fill and Stroke dialog, you can go to the Stroke Style tab and choose the option for Rounded Caps. Next, I'll create a path to use for a chain. This works best if the path has really smooth curves, so I'll go to the Pen tool. At the top here, I'll choose Spiral Mode. Now I'll zoom out a lot by holding Ctrl and scrolling down the mouse wheel. Then I'll click some points in the canvas to create a nice wavy line. Then right click to finish it. I'll go ahead and change the stroke width of this to 10 so I can see it better. Next, I'll go to the Select tool, select the Heart Path, and copy it into the clipboard with Ctrl C. Then I'll select the wavy path again, go to the path effects dialog, click the plus button at the bottom, and choose pattern along path here. I'll click this button in here that says link to path and clipboard, change pattern copies to repeated, and change the stroke color of this to red. Now at the moment, the parts where the heart copies meet are flushed together. I want them to overlap some, like the hearts inside the copies do. To do this, I can decrease the spacing setting in here. I might have to lower it quite a lot to match the overlap of the other hearts. Now to make the pattern copies have an intertwined appearance, I can add the Knot Path effect to this path. And I can go to the Fill and Stroke dialog and change the cap type to Rounded. We might have some parts that go missing like right here. But fortunately, this whole path is adjustable, which means I can go to the Node tool and adjust the nodes, and everything else will adjust accordingly. Some slight node adjustments will also fix the missing parts. Okay, I hope you have as much fun with this one as I did, and I hope it inspires you to create some other interlocking patterns using this method. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.